Hello everyone, we are KPT group and we are of four members Puja Acharya, Gurdip Kaur, Tringham and I am Tringyangden. Okay, so I'll start off by giving the overview of the WebFX company and then I'll try to explain the scope and objective of VBX Digital Marketing Agency. So WebEx Digital Marketing Agency, it provides online digital marketing courses that focuses on career-ready learning and it is delivered through a blend of number one, case studies, and number two, useful toolkits. Okay, so I'll delve deeper into the subject of the overview of the organization. So the web FX company, it provides courses that can make you familiar with the core fundamental of digital marketing. Number one, the digital marketing opportunities. So digital opportunities, what it actually means is it is opening up of new possibilities associated with the development and dissemination of digital technologies, which can eventually lead to an improvement. Number two, website and email. Website is one of the online marketing channels and WebFX, they use it as one of the integral part of overall digital marketing strategy. Its main aim is to gain more visit to your website. WebFX, on the other hand, also recognizes email as one of the most powerful and cheapest marketing strategy. It uses email to promote your business's product and services. Social media. So social media is a platform on which the users, they build a social network and they share their information to build a company's brand. They, in order to increase sales and drive website traffic. Okay, so now let's talk about the scope and objectives of the online digital marketing courses provided by WebFX digital marketing agencies. Okay, so their first scope is to target audiences. So target audiences means they basically target their potential audiences based on factors like gender, age, location, interest, and education in order for them to generate leads effectively. Secondly, retarget potential customers means they try to retarget their existing customers who are already familiar with the brand using different methods and messages for each customers. Okay, so now let's talk about the objectives. So the main objectives behind this analysis is to identify skill gaps. So what it does is it helps to discover teams' weaknesses and areas for strengthening and reskilling, which is very important. Secondly, it uncovers new innovative ideas. So training can become outdated quickly. So not about this training, but it can be any other training. It can become outdated very quickly. So new technologies become available. So they become available from one iteration to another. And what it does is it can bring fresh insight to the industry. So it can also uncover areas where technology could present information in a fresh or a new way.
Hello, my name is Gurdeep Kaur. I would like to touch upon the theory which we applied for the training program, which is behavior theory. Firstly, learning theories and outputs are helpful in designing training because they share light on how people learn and guide development of programs. And next, submit to optimize both having a firm grab of how active learnings and the results of studies. Examining and secondly, knowledge allow us to better tailor instructions individual needs and thirdly to develop a successful marketing plan. Moreover, one must firstly the target market, the idea purpose that individually create and uh, their own bodies of knowledge and add the their exiting understanding at the gathering new information and gain new experience and uh, next. Our aims was to focus on behavior theory as it is a prevent concept that optimize how they learn through training as well as it is an idea that people learn through that experience and instructions and surroundings. However, since our training was conducted online and uh, lastly, it was challenging to understand if the participants were able to learn much as they would have learned with a face-to-face -face training session. Thank you. Findings and analysis of the training that was conducted. There is a plethora of enthusiasts interested in learning about digital marketing as it allows one to communicate with customers instantly and vice versa. So it was a great opportunity for the candidates to assimilate or maximize their knowledge and become competent in their profession. The training was considered one of the arenas to empower employees as it gave them the opportunity to develop personal ethics and enhance their confidence in their work with the capability to identify their career goals. It was observed that the participation of the managers during the training was equally important as it motivated the participants on taking up a digital marketing profession. How, moreover, it gave room for the participants to clarify their doubts and build their confidence in the business. In return, the managers were able to acquire new ideas from the candidates. Lastly, it was a good platform to give and receive useful feedbacks. It was necessary to know what the trainees acquired from the training and how they could apply it in the workplace. Similarly, it was essential for the trainers and the managers to identify the areas they could improve while conducting such trainings. Hello everyone, this is me Pooja and today I am going to discuss about the issue uh, that we experienced during the training session and I am also going to conclude all the topics that me and my friends have discussed in today's presentation. First of all, I just want to discuss about the main issues. Although the senior market analysts at WebEx Web are expert in their field, they are well knowledge, but in the training we uh, came to know that they are not aware of minor aware of minor issues that lead to poor performance of and the quality of the training. This section of the proposal, despite the area where the training programs need to be addressed, so some of the issues that we feel that we experience during the training session are as in your screen here at first uh, of our issue is the first issue is the online digital marketing training conducted by webex the methodology the online platform online session was the main issue because the whole training was for the learning or to reduce the stress relief in today's marketing and make it easy 
for new generation but it turns more complicated because of the methodology they choose the online session they choose and they can't get these trainers with students with all the students and the trainers can't get the practical knowledge and face-to-face -face interaction which hinders in learning and the second main major issue was a lack of expertise or qualified professional. Uh, here I want to mention that the company that was the company that uh, we was trained was new and was a new startup by recently graduated students. So there was a lack of expertism and professionalism in the training. Also, the digital marketing itself is a new topic, new content in the industry. So uh, it was a bit complicated for to conduct training by the by the those of the new generated graduated uh, uh, colleagues. And the third was lack of comprehensive course. Do you know? They are like there was a lack of comprehensive course due to the absence of theories. The theories that need to be applied was absence, and also the concept in the online session was also absent. That's why there was a lack of comprehensive course. And the main goal of the training was not meet. As we all know that the digital marketing means like online marketing system but still after the training the staff and the other trainer trainees are still following the old traditional marketing method so here these are the issues that we experienced during the training now um, now to conclude whatever me and my friends have presented in front of you. We, today we discussed about the introduction of the company, some of the scopes and objectives of the company and methodology of the company, like the online session. And, all. and the applied theory was the behavior. The theory focused on behavior theory as it is a prevention concept that emphasizes how they learn through the training and it is an idea that people learn through an experience and interaction with their surroundings however with their surroundings and with their training um the, con the training was conducted online it was challenging to understand if the and if the participants were able to learn as much as possible they would have learned with the face-to-face -face learning session so this, um, these are the issues and the applied theory was the need to be behavioral and some of the findings we already discussed. So this is the conclusion of today's topic. I hope you guys understand whatever we want to mention here. Thank you so much from our present. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you so much. This is the overall presentation.